is there a deeper essence of who you are and who they are? And when you can realize the deeper essence of who you are and realize the deeper essence of who they are and what everything is, then there's this like, incredible liberation. There's like this incredible freedom. There's this incredible sense of love. There's this incredible sense of inner peace. There's a sense of empowerment. Empowerment in the sense of you're not looking for something outside of yourself to, to fulfill you. So Eckhart Tolle used the term the power of now. So like the, I think we, especially I think Nashville, but just generally we get this weird use of power as like a negative thing but power is just energy you know you can utilize it different ways but it's like you know to plug my phone to charge my phone I need power right so it's like when you when you're present when you're in the moment you're plugged into from a spiritual sense we could say is like the ultimate power right the highest power the div most divine power but the only way to plug in is to be present. You know, if you're not, because because that power is here and now. So if you're not present, you're not plugged in to the, to the power. You know, you're not plugged into the source. We want to be plugged into the source. So we want to be like available, you know. One of the things that um, has been interesting is There's, there's a lot of teachings about like trying to be happy or wanting to be happy, which can be used to avoid the moment, to avoid the, to avoid what's here. Um, so, what I'm talking about isn't isn't actually really about trying to be happy or wanting to be happy. It's about actually being fully available to the moment just being fully available you know there's there's um there's a word that's used sometimes in spirituality is surrender or letting go um and there's this beautiful sense of just completely giving yourself to source to the, to the divine to god to the i call it the universal creative intelligence and there's a sense of, in the Bible, there's a phrase, not my will, thy will be done. So there's a sense of like, I'm just totally available for you to move through me in this moment and be essentially a channel, right? To be a channel for this power to move through you. So sometimes you, you'll hear somebody talking or somebody playing music or somebody, um, you know, poetry or, you know, a lot of times it's the arts, but it could be, it could be someone who's a, a speaker or someone who's, and you say, wow, they're just like tapped in. They're just like, you know, in the zone. They're just, uh, you know, filled with the spirit. And it, it is like a channeling, you know, it's like a sense of the mind like, quiets down and the heart opens and there's just a sense of, I don't know that this is, this is the great paradox. It seems like the person's like really decisive or they're coming from this really clear, clear place, but inside there's a sense of, I don't know what's best. I don't know which way things should go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's like this absolute humility. You know, Meister Eckhart, not to be confused with Eckhart Tolle, this guy goes way back in the day, um, he said this really interesting um, phrase. He said, I know nothing, I am nothing, I have nothing. I know nothing, I have nothing, I am nothing. So, and 
it's it's not to be taken literally. It doesn't mean literally I have, you know, I have to give up my car or my house or something. It's the sense of the inner sense of like just being fully available. You know, I know nothing, I am nothing, I have nothing. So there's like this absolute humility, just like totally emptying out, emptying out, emptying out. And it's like emptying out every moment. You know, whatever you knew the last moment, let it go for this moment. Whatever you knew the last moment, let it go to be available again, available again, available again. 